Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported my image file and page texture, which we will be using in this demonstration. You can download them from the link given in the description. Now let's see how to create the sketch effect, create a new composition. I will name it as Scribble. For this composition, I will set time duration to 4 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as Scribble Layer. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Scribble. Add it to the Scribble Layer. Now for this Scribble Layer, we need to create Mask. Double click on this rectangle tool to create Mask for the Scribble Layer. Change Scribble to all masks. Change Angle to minus 300. You can change the angle if you want to change the scribble direction. At 2 seconds. Create keyframe for end. At start of the timer line. Change end value to 0%. You can see the scribble effect. We don't need wiggle effect, so set wiggle to 0. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for scribble layer. Press U to view created keyframes, select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of the scribble layer, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate, for duplicate layer. We will change the angle to minus 40 degrees. Now we will place this layer at distance of 10 frames. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as view. For this view layer, we need to create mask. First let's hide this scribble layer. Now select the pen tool, create mask as shown. You can adjust the mask. For view layer. For mask layer. Change mask feather value to 170. Go at 1 second. Create keyframe for mask expansion. Now at start of the timer line, reduce the expansion value, till the mask layer get invisible. Perfect. You can see the preview. If you want to increase or decrease the size of the mask, then you need to increase or decrease expansion value. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now for this view layer, we will place it at distance of 20 frames. Let's unhide the scribble layers. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as sketch. Now let's create a new solid layer. We will use this layer as background, you can set the layer color here. Or, from effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the background layer. Now here you can set any color of your choice. For background layer, scale it to, 120%. 
From project panel, add the paper texture to the timeline. For texture layer, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to texture layer. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add motion tile to texture layer. For motion tile, set output width to 200, set output height to 200. Select mirror edges, perfect, now let's scale this texture image to 120%. For this texture layer, we will change the mode to overlay. Perfect. Now let's add the media file to the timeline, here you can add image file as well as video file. Here I will scale my media file to fit the screen. Let's pre-compose this media file, name it as media. Select move attribute into new composition. Perfect. For this media composition, add the motion tile effect. For motion tile, set output width and height to 200. Select mirror edges, now for this media composition. In effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the media composition. To make it as black and white you don't need to change the color, but if you want to set any other color for your scribble effect, then you can set any color of your choice. But for this demonstration, I will keep it, as it is. Now let's add the scribble composition to the timeline. We need to create mask over the scribble composition, select the pen tool. Now create mask over the scribble composition as shown. In scribble composition, for created mask, set mask feather value to 300. For scribble composition, press S to bring up scale, increase scale value to 115. For media composition, change track mat to alpha mat scribble, you can see the preview. Perfect. Now again add the texture image file to the timeline. Scale this texture image to 70%. Now for texture image, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the texture image. Set output width to 300 and height to 300. Select mirror edges, in effects and preset, Search for Sharpen. Add it to the texture layer. Set Sharpen amount to 200. For texture, change mode to Soft Light. Perfect. Now let's create a null object. Select all the layers. Parent all the layers to null layer. Find null one. Press R to bring up rotation at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for rotation. Now at start of the timeline. Change rotation value to 10 degrees. Now for null one, press S to bring up scale. At 2 seconds. Create keyframe for scale. At start, change scale value to 200%. Now for null layer, press U to view created keyframes. Select all created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now again create a null object. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2. Press says to bring up the scale, at 1 second. Create keyframe for scale. Now at end of the timeline, change scale value to 85%. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, 
Search for tint. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change amount of tint to 30%. Now in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set sharpen amount to 30. You can see the preview. In this preview, you can see, I have not added the wiggle effect. To add wiggle effects. For null 2. Press P to bring up position, press out key and click on the stopwatch of position. Here you need to enter expression, wiggle, 2 and 10. Now let's see the preview. Perfect, here our sketch effect is ready. If you want to use it as slideshow, you need to create multiple compositions of sketch. And add them in a single composition. And your slideshow is ready. Thank you guys for watching this video.